Hello guys, so welcome back to our tutorial. This tutorial is a Java programming language. Okay, so now we are going to create a, a program that convert the ULA, UML diagram to Java programming. Okay, so first this is the okay, this is the subject okay classes and methods objective at the end of this exercise the student will be able to create a program based on the uml class diagram so the uml is this one okay so you must know what is this uh, box okay at least you will understand this one okay first here at the top this is the class name okay the, the top ano, the top portion is the class name here these are the attributes okay these are the attributes in the second uh, box next is these are the classes okay these are our uh, these are the methods of the class okay first this is the class name this is the attribute and these are the methods so here as you can see in number one is create a folder name uh, last name underscore uh, first name so we will create a folder which is uh, this is the uh, i will create another one i will rename this one I will create a folder that name is underscore okay. this is my name as according to the number one create a folder next is create a project okay create a project name uh, activity number two so we will open here the Eclipse IDE this is for Java so, gagawin natin is we will create a project here, new project, Java project. Okay. Here we will put here is activity number two. We will see if this is already there. Okay. Next is finish. Don't create. Now you have already a project number two. This is the number two, huh? project number two. Next is create a simple purchasing program based on the UML diagram. First, this is the class name. So we will create here a class here in the source. Okay, right click new class. We will create here activity number two this is the name of the class okay then here there is a i think already i will put underscore because already have a number two okay, finish now you have already a class name activity number two Next, as you can see here in the next box, these are the attributes. How to convert this one to code? Here, we already convert to code. This is the class name. Next, in the, ne in the second box, okay, in the next uh, row here, these are the attributes. I will copy this one so that I have guide. Okay, these are the okay. How to convert how to convert these attributes to code? So this is the code item name. Okay. Here is string. Okay. S is uh, then private. 
item price. Okay, here is double. Yeah. Next is private in item quantity. Okay. Next is private double amount due. Okay. These are the conversion of that attributes to your code in Java. So here, to convert this one to code, this is the code. This is the class. This is the code of the attributes. Next is here the methods and the methods here i will copy this one so that i have guide so that i uh, no need to go back to the microsoft word okay here first i will create set name okay public according here is void public i will put here public void set item name with the parameter of with the parameter the parameter is this one is string new item name so this one you already convert to code this is the code the code is like this item name is equal to new item name Okay, this one, this one is the attribute. This one is the variable here. These are the variable item name. Then you pass this parameter to the item name. Next is the second. Okay, I will do this one. Okay, next this one. Public. Okay, public void said set total cost with a parameter of in quantity and double price okay now to put the code inside you need to put the quantity first is item quantity okay item quantity this one is this one okay whatever the variable here you need to use here as you can see here set item i use the set item variable and then pass the variable here i will pass the quantity okay next is here is price so i will use i will use here item price is equal to price okay this one is here and pass to item quantity price here and pass to item price and your this one is already converted to code okay this is already the code next is what's the next get item so get item is a string public string get item name okay get item name then return return what the item name okay you need to return here you need to set set a value then here get the value return it will come here you are using return because you are using data type string. Next, this one is already converted. Next, another code is public boy uh, double get total cost. Okay, here return total cost. So here return. The return is item quantity times item 
Christ. So you are con you are getting the the total cost. So the total cost will be item quantity times the uh, price per quantity. Okay. Next is this one is already converted. Next is read input. So read input as you can see here. As you can see in the read input method will be used to accept user input through scanner class this is done by writing java util okay here you will ask the user to input the following you will input the this one the item next is the quantity and the price that's it only three item quantity and the price you are going to input that one so now to you to done this uh, following instruction first you need to input that this one to do that one is here import java dot util dot asterisk okay then here as you can see, okay, number one is okay. Number two is we need to instantiate the scanner. Instantiate the scanner, we will create here public. Here, read input. Uh, public void. Read input. Okay. Here is scanner. Input. Uh, I think here is S, okay, is equal to new scanner system dot in. Okay, then, okay, number two, uh, letter B is already done. Next, this one. So, as you can see here, for string, for end, you are using this kind of now. So, how to do that one? To do that one, okay. First is system dot out dot print. We will copy this one. Enter the name of the item you are purchasing. Enter the name of item you are purchasing okay next according to this here for a string use s line so for the item name is equal to s dot next line okay Okay, so number uh, letter, okay, letter C, still, enter the quantity and price separated by space. So, we will create this one again. Last the user, enter, said, enter the quantity and price. Enter the quantity and price. Separated by space. Separated by space. Okay. Here we are going to use S dot next. Next in. Okay. But we need to here S dot next in is the The quantity, so item quantity, okay. Here next is enter again the item price is equal to S dot double, next double, as according to the year 
Okay. Then done. That's it. Input this one. Input this one. And that's it. Next, we already finished this one. And the last is write output. Public. What is the okay, void also? Write output. Okay. Here, in the write output, you need to display this one. You need to display this uh, message. So here, system that out that print. Okay. Here you are purchasing. You need to concat here. You are purchasing how many bugs? Uh, quantity item quantity. Here at price, this is the item price. That's it. Okay. Then here we will put here. Then that's it. Next, this one, the amount due is in the here so to call that one to run that one we will go here in the main so here uh, we will use activity number two activity number two act is equal to new same as this one we will call the class instantiation okay then act that okay. we will put here um, read input okay read input we will call the read input this one after calling the read input is act that here right output Then, there is another one here. Amount U is the amount U. Amount U is system that out that print amount U is Amount U is the total cost. Get total cost. Yan. So, we will try to run this one. Okay, so this is the one. Oops, there is number two, get total cost. Here, that's right. Here we are, ah, this one, act that get total cost okay we will try to run this one this one okay first is enter the name is bug okay how many <clears throat> quantity uh, here for example two is piece of 500 per each okay as you can see you are purchasing two bugs this is the two 
at 500 each. This is the price. And then the amount you is 1,000. So we need to put here LN. So that the amount you will be on the, we will put here bug. Quantity is, uh, for example, two bugs and uh, 1,000 each. Okay. No, we will put here LN. Yeah, that's it. Bug, space two and 1,000 each. As you can see, you are purchasing two bugs. This is the two. As you can see here, this is the two. Then 1,000 each, this is the price. Then amount you, this are the total cost. So as you can see, <clears throat> the UML diagram here is converted to your code. This is the code. Okay. I hope you understand first you create the, I will delete this one. These are the attributes. As you can see here, these are the attributes. Okay. Next is, these are the methods. As you can see, set item name, set total cost, set uh, get item name, get total cost, read input, and write output is this one. Uh, make sure in the set, you are only setting the value. In the get, you are going to return the value, to get the value. And for the read input is you are asking the user to input the data. Like here, how we uh, enter the item of you are purchasing. So you are entering the bug. Bug and here is the item is 2 and the uh, item price is 1,000. Then in the write output, you will... Uh, displaying the output of the you are purchasing in the main you are calling the activity number 2 class by use of the object act you will um, calling the read input methods you are calling write output methods and the last is to display the amount due that's why the output is this one. So I hope you understand this one. I hope you understand how to convert the UML diagram, okay, the UML diagram into your code, okay? So I hope you understand. Thank you.